kids in marriage, that's something that is very important to agree on. There's no consensus that needs to be had if somebody really wants kids and the other person really does not want kids. This um, Twitter thread has got to be one of the cruelest things that I've seen in a while. And I don't just I just don't understand why people don't get with the folks that match what they want. Okay, so this Twitter user says, I worked at fertility clinic for three years and you wouldn't believe the number of males who would sabotage fertility treatments while telling their wives they want kids. Many of them mixed spit with their sample that was to be inseminated thinking we wouldn't know. She continues with, some of you are asking why I didn't tell the wives about what their husbands were doing. She says, let's say I didn't need the job at the time. Do any of you honestly think these women would believe me over their husbands without the support of the doctor? So someone says, why not just tell the, the wives they don't want kids? And she's like, selfishness. And... That this is just fundamentally cruel. They really don't want kids, but they want that woman. And they want to keep acting like they're just going through the motions of doing this for her. Like they're really giving it a go. They're spending all of this money to give it a go for him to sabotage it. So this person responds with, you hear new ways of advanced cruelty daily in this app. The money wasted and hope. This is is just mentally and physically abusive. It really is. She's doing this to her body and they are just actively sabotaging them. Okay, so then the original person says, the craziest part, we couldn't tell the wives it was the husband's fault. They weren't getting pregnant. And most of the women blame themselves. She says, I had to quit or I would have set one of them ablaze. Okay, so then someone says, why can't you just go in and tell him the sample was tainted with spit and his portion needs to be redone? She said, we told them it needs to be redone. We didn't tell them why. So then someone says, may I ask why? Is there some law or rule about disclosing that information? And so then she says, no, but there was office policy set by the doctor. Most of us couldn't afford to lose our job, so we didn't say anything. He fired a nurse when she attempted to tell one of the wives they make bank off of fertility treatments. He wasn't willing to risk losing money. So someone says, I'm pretty sure this might be against the law, not for the team, but for the doctor. This is almost like medical abuse. You guys keep treating her, but her body won't get pregnant, although she's perfectly healthy. Exactly. That's the reason why I say this is abusive. This is cruel. Okay, so someone asked the question, in your opinion, why do you think they say they want kids, then ruin the chance of having kids after spending thousands of dollars? And she says, I think they never wanted a child to begin with, but they knew the woman they wanted wouldn't want them if they didn't agree to have a child. If they can convince her she's the problem, she will stop asking for a baby. And Adrian at the bottom says, I know of men who secretly got a vasectomy and went along with fertility testing as if they were viral. I mean, um, viral. This just go is just like match with the people that want the same things as you. Stop sabotaging other people's dreams simply because you want to be in a relationship with them. That this is just cruelty to another level. And then someone says, and then maybe for some cases. If he makes her think she's the problem, she'll cuddle him more and be more apologetic and doting on him because she can't give him a kid. Okay, so then this guy says, or maybe he wasn't ready, but um, at least he should have been honest with his wife. And somebody else says, horrible as that is, it also sounds like so much work. I don't want kids and it's a lot easier to just not be with someone who does. Exactly. Just be honest. Um, Now for some of the quote retweets. So this person says some of them will outright tell the intake nurse or PA that they don't want kids or that the wife isn't fit to be a mother. And this person says, do y'all know how expensive that stuff is? Just just yeah, thousands of dollars.
just thousands of dollars and just shockingly just throwing it away. This person says this entire thread is one part horrifying to two parts depressing. Why can't adults just be respectful and honest with their partners they purportedly love? I force them to endure so much emotional distress. So this person at the bottom says those treatments could cost upwards of 15,000 per round. And most fertility cl um, clinics recommend two to three rounds. They would rather you both go to into extreme debt than simply say that they do not want a baby. Right. That's where we are. This is where we are. I'm going to end it with this, but there was a bunch of quote retweets, a bunch of comments on this post, but the uh, the gist is pr pretty much the same. Cruelty is the point, I guess. You guys go ahead and weigh in on this one. This is a new level that has been unlocked. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.